In this video, we will look at how to locate lost files using the search function in Windows XP. At the bottom of the screen, on the left-hand side, click Start. Find Search. It's towards the bottom of the second column. Click Search and the search window opens. I'm going to use all files and folders. This is the best option when searching for a document. We have two main search options. The first is if we know the name of the file or part of the name of the file, we can type that in here. The second option is if you can't remember the name of the file at all, but you do remember a key word or phrase in the file, you could type it in here. Now I know that part of the file name contains the word bloom, so I'm going to type bloom into the all or part of the file name text box. I also know that I stored it in the My Documents folder, so I'm going to select that. If you know roughly the area that you saved a document, choose to search in that area as it will speed up the search. We're given further options to narrow down our search. The first is when was it modified. Click on the double chevron and we can see we have various options. So if you know roughly when it was modified, you could select one of these. I don't remember, so I'm going to leave don't remember as a default. Click on the chevrons to close that option. The next option is what size is it? If it's small, medium, etc., you can choose that option to search for the file. Again, this will help speed up the search. And again, I don't remember the size, so I'm going to close that option. The third option, more advanced options, is for users who are fully familiar with how to use a computer. In this case, I'm not going to select any of these options. Click Search. The length of the search will depend on the number of documents on your computer. The computer has found six files. The one I want is Bloom Revised Taxonomy. I'm given further details about this document. For example, it's stored in My Documents Blended Learning Planning. If the document is not exactly the one you're looking for, then you can refine the search. You can change the file name or keywords. You can look in more locations. You can change whether hidden and system files are included. It is unlikely that you will want to choose this option as these are the files that Windows will use to run your computer, so it's best to avoid this. Now this is the document I want, so if I double click, and here it's, it's opened the document, it's Bloom's Revised Taxonomy Keywords, and this is exactly what I was looking for. So that completes the end of the search.